All right, this is gonna be my top three knife pet peeves. I may sneak a fourth one in there, or you know, one kind of runs together. However you, however you want to look at it. But I guess I'll go from in order of. I guess I'll go from least. The one that bothers me the least to the one that bothers me the most. And to demonstrate, because my 0804 is the same way, I it really bugs me when you have to close a knife so far to get past the detent ball. I'm, I'm not sure why, it, it just kind of bothers me. And it's not in many designs, which is a good thing, but that would be the first one. The second one is going to be improperly done sharpening choils. I would honestly rather there be none than be done like this. I mean, it's not even it's not even close. It's only about halfway to where it needs to be to get there. So that bugs me. I understand it's a different design. This is absolutely perfect. If you're going to do a sharpening choil, that is the... Something like this is good. Or something that has a forward finger choil in it. Where you don't have to worry about... About getting that, that huge look and smile thing like that right there. So, that would be number two. And the one that bugs me the absolute most, and they go hand in hand, would be clips placed too low or placed too low because of lanyard holes. I'm not big on lanyards at all. This particular knife I got from J.R. Rodriguez. The only reason why I have a few knives with lanyards on them are because I got them from other people. And I just feel like, uh, since I don't use lanyards, I figured I'd give them a try. Figure it adds a little bit of someone else's character to the knife. I believe I have four, four or five knives from other people that have different lanyards on them. So... But this much, and it's it's a, at least an inch of the knife, sticks out of your pocket. And there is a, a better clip option for this particular knife from the factory. I'm, I'm not sure why they don't all have it, which leaves about this much of the knife sticking out of your pocket. Like this in particular. Like the lightweight version coming out, they've actually moved the lanyard hole up here. And it's going to use a wire clip that actually goes all the way to the top of the handle. Like I would have rather seen. Like on this Mannix right here. Especially someone like me who doesn't use the lanyard hole at all. I'd much rather see this than this. So those are my three. I was tagged by Jet Fuel EDC to do this. I had done a video, but I didn't I didn't like the way it came out. So this is my top three. And those being way too far before the detent ball is up on the blade. Poor sharpening choils and clip placement slash lanyard hole placement I'm just going to leave it open at this point I kind of don't know who has been tagged I'm, I'm pretty sure no one has tagged Tom Hosang Outdoors so I'm going to go ahead and tag him for the top 3 knife pet peeves he's a smaller channel if you guys haven't checked him out he also does some steel testing uh, so Go give him a watch but i'm going to tag him and anybody else who wants to do it i welcome you to go ahead and go ahead and do it 
put your video up. I love watching stuff like this. And as always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.